All right, can I have uh, two large double doubles, a uh, plain bagel with butter, and an angel cream donut? Click the bell to join Hashtag Nation. You want to try that one again? Okay. So, let's talk why Roger Goodell's a Because <laughs> he walks into town, wow. just lights the place on fire, and says, new stadium, or your team's going to be gone. Just let you oh know. Oh, my God. Right? He just let, sets the place on fire. And, Do uh, I have to tag this NSFW? <laughs> She just bleep it out. He's just, just bleep it out. It makes so much work for me. <laughs> I'm just not going to talk so you can do it. So Roger Goodell walks in and basically sets the city on fire with this new stadium talk, which is something we covered already, that the Bills are already investigating this. They've already started a survey. The results are going to be in next, you know, I think at the end of, next, end of this year. I don't remember the exact timetable for when the survey results are going to be back, but... The Bills have plenty of space in Orchard Park to build a new stadium. Somebody in the comments section had mentioned, build it, what, this old Summit Park Mall? Build it here. You're crazy. Wow. You got enough room. You got an airport right there. You got 75 different exits. It's actually not a bad idea. Um, you put it in the falls, you know I'm immediately buying season tickets. That's actually not that bad an idea. But they have enough space in Orchard Park as it is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you get rid of the RV lot, which they're basically trying to vacate anybody anyway by charging people like a hundred dollar pass per game, um, or is it more than that? Didn't they raise it? Is a parking uh -oh. parking got it really expensive? Yeah, in the RV lot. they got it's like, whoops. Um, so just put it in the RV lot and then tear down the old Ralph Wilson. They have a beautiful new training facility at AdPro. They're not oh. going to want to walk away from that. Uh -oh. So that to me, that new training facility was sort of to me like the investment of okay, we're we're looking at staying That's out here. Doing. Let's yeah. let's go ahead and improve the facilities. We got the funds to do it. But here's the one thing that I hear everybody talking about with the stadium that they're it's the one point that everybody's missing. Something in CB the in the CBA that uh, people are forgetting about, and it is um, a stadium allowance Ooh. in the CBA for owners when, so okay so i have a very sneaking suspicion like the bills are putting off building a new stadium until the cba goes into effect because like mind you the nfl was a fifth almost a 15 billion dollar industry last year mm -hmm. right and the nfl has been pushing for teams to um partially or fully fund stadiums right that's what they want they want them to be able to go and partially or fully fund a stadium a new stadium right but in the, in the last CBA, there was a stadium allowance that the Bills took the money and just used to renovate. All right, so this is an article from SB Nation that was posted um, actually pretty recently. So regarding the collective bargaining agreement, um, the NFL and the NFLPA are starting to get a jump start on the new CBA. They're talking now about it, okay. right? And it's not due for another until the completion of next season not this season the completion of next season okay. so they're trying to get ahead of it because i don't think the nfl wants another labor stoppage that was bad for business oh. that was bad bad for business mm -hmm. so in 2011 and this is directly from this article um, it says the nfl secured large amounts of stadium credits in the 2011 cba those were allotments of league revenue that helped pay for new stadiums Owners are aiming to st seek stadium credits in the new CBA too, according to ESPN. And this is quoted out of an article from Adam Stiltz on SB Nation, posted May 28, 2019. Mm. So it was recent. Yeah, it was. It was pretty. So recent. are they just kind of treading water right now? That's exactly. I think that's exactly what the bills okay. are doing because there's those stadium credits, right? That money's already spent. That money's already gone, right? The money that was allotted. The bills aren't getting a chunk of that at this point. So why would they build a new stadium if they're gonna if they're not gonna get any help from the CBA? Yeah. So it's just best for them to sit and wait and see if is the it new CBA. if a new CBA is gonna be, give mm. new allowances. But I just thought it was really it was really poor timing of Goodell to come in and say, yeah, you need a new stadium. 
because the bills are at least three years from mm-hmm. from doing that because the new CBD new CBA is going to give them stadium allotment credit they'd be foolish to try and start a new stadium without knowing what that dollar is yeah right? well did they the, well the, the previous amount that they got from the previous CBA now does that work like salary cap? Can they just roll, roll it over? I don't. The next TVA. The stadium credit piece, I'm not super educated on, but I'm pretty sure that the allotments for that are are gone at this point. <laughs> but it's also more likely that those allotment credits, because the NFL has increased in revenue so much, because look at it, the salary cap when they signed the CBA was 200 or 123 million dollars. Oh. It's now like 180. It's had a, like a, almost a 50 percent increase. Yep. Right. So. And that's a massive amount, a massive amount of increase. Mm-hmm. And the salary cap is based off of revenue. So if the league is making more revenue, then doesn't that tell you that the stadium allotment allowance is also going to exponentially increase? What happens to the, the teams, though, that have already built stadiums that they're already finished? Do, they just don't use their stadium allotment? I, As I said, I'm not super educated on that, but uh, there's a lot of new stadiums around here. And that's why, it's, it, that's why it surprised me when L.A., when two teams moved to L.A., when a team moved to Vegas and they're doing it all before the CBA goes into effect because they're just pissing money away. Because the CBA is based on based off of, well, they of profit allowance. Well, maybe they want to get something like on the books and, and solid in, into one place before the CBA gets, because they may not have the stadium allotment then. That's true. Like, listen, yeah, all right, we're not going to have this anyway. Let's just get into the city, the city we're supposed to get into, and then if we get the stadium allotment, it's going to be like a bonus. If we don't, then we're going to have to try to make ends meet. Sure. Taxes, whatever they, you, you're, you're more well-versed in that than I am. I mean, any new stadium is going to, is going to increase uh, the, the PSAs. Okay. Your premium seating agreement, right? So mm-hmm. I think if you're going to build a new stadium, PSAs are going to go into effect in Buffalo and they're going to be expensive. You have to pay for the right to be a season ticket holder, which I think sucks, right? I think that yeah. really sucks. You're already buying season tickets. They are already affordable in the scope of the NFL, right? So season tickets for the Bills are very affordable compared to other teams because What's, of the market. What is New Era right now as far as the, uh, stadium capacity? It is middle of the pack because I remember we're looking 70, this up. Yeah, it's 72? Yeah, 72,000. Okay. Here's my question. Could the Bills, on a on a consistent basis for mm-hmm. eight weeks of a regular season, if they increase the stadium capacity to 100, would they fill it? Well, that would make it the largest stadium in the NFL. No, isn't uh, Dallas the biggest one? Dallas already seats 100,000, don't they? So that's with temporary seating. Remember, remember they, okay. they, when they did the Super Bowl, they had temporary seating. So the here's the way that this works out, because there's a list uh, posted on World Atlas Okay. Of the largest stadiums in the NFL, because that would be a that would be a drawing point. Listen, we're going to build a new stadium. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're going to make it bigger. Mm-hmm. We're going to make it ninety or eighty-five, right. or you know what I mean? Yep. Technically speaking, Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum is the, the Coliseum. largest. Yeah. Right. Um, still tops the list. Uh, it could it could be increased as up to one hundred and five. Ooh. After that, it's MetLife Stadium at eighty-two thousand. FedEx Field at. Um, 82? Uh, wow. That doesn't seem right. Well, it makes sense. I mean, you got an $8 million po- FedEx, eight, eight million population. FedEx was 91,000, and then they realized nobody comes to Redskins games, so they bumped down to 82. Um, what? Well, they closed the top off because nobody yeah. shows up. Right, exactly. So the way it works out, the bills are... Oh, this is just the top 10. Uh, oh, actually, they got to be pretty close because the top 10 NRG Stadium is 72,220, and the Bills are pretty close to that, so they got to be top 15. Okay. What I'm saying is that if, if maybe that would be a bigger draw because if you put if it you in, increase the number of seats, you could keep the season ticket, the cost of season tickets down. That's my point. I agree with that, yes. Um, now, again, that's predicated on winning, right? But I mean, is you, it though? But if you, is it though? But if you built a if you built a retractable roof, because here's the thing about Buffalo, everybody wants the games in the cold, but nobody wants the snow in their seats, right? Because we that's that's the deal. So you don't go to games that are under fifty. I do not go to games that are under fifty. I weigh 154 pounds. I do not go to games that are <laughs> below fifty degrees. Not gonna happen. Um, but if I'll it was put you a retract- in the front pouch of my jacket, <laughs> I'm not a kangaroo. I'm not a Joey. <laughs> If they had a retractable roof stadium where 
regardless of how cold it was outside, you opened it for game time and it snowed inside the stadium then, okay. I think Bills fans would accept that. Mm -hmm. Knowing that the stadium could be closed off in case of like rain or really, really crappy conditions and you can keep the stadium pristine when it's not being used um, by having the retractable roof, I think that would be a big draw. But then you look at it and say, okay, well, it's it's game day. Swing that thing open. It's time to play football. Yeah. I think that would be attractive to a lot of Bills fans. I think it would. I think only if you increase the, the number of seats that you have. I think that's fair. I think If you have point. a dome, more people would want to go. Right. And it'd be like, all right, it's supposed to be, you'll have a lot of people that are going to say, let's say, let's say you increase it to 88,000. Right. Let's say, just on a whim, you increase right. it to 88,000. Like, hey, game time temperature is supposed to be 20 degrees. Wind chill is one. Who cares? All right, let We're me. In the dome. Who cares? Are, are they closing the dome today? Are they closing the thing today? Well, let me get on the Bills website. And Bills right. say, listen, we're going to open it up just for game time. If it starts to get too bad, we're going to close it back up. But that's going to be the, the format that they're going to go with. Okay. All right. So it's going to be close. They're going to close it for the first half. Right. They're going to well, open it for the first half. Okay. And and a, having a dome is like a requirement in certain parts of this country. Like in Dallas, you have to have a roof on your stadium because you have to have a roof on your stadium. You're in Dallas. You can't put eighty thousand people in in a in a, tu- in a in a can of tuna and be comfortable. You can't. Well, you still have the roof open. Well, I understand they have the big hole in the roof, but you can at least sort of control the temperature of that stadium at least yeah. a little bit uh, okay. at least a little bit eh. debatable eh. okay so i understand that there's certain places that have to have who knew dallas played in a blizzard from 94 from 92 to 96 oh. <laughs> all right and the one snow game was against miami uh. that <laughs> but what i'm saying is that if the Bills are going to build a new stadium. They're going through the right steps. But Goodell coming in and just proclaiming that they need a new one, it doesn't help matters because the Bills are going to wait till the new CBA comes out anyway before they commit to a stadium because they're going to want the stadium allotment if it's included. It's really? like you're 12 years old and you're sitting you're sitting at the dining room table doing your homework and your parents walk and they go, make sure you get that homework done. It's like Yeah, a- Dad. Uh, right on top of that, Rose. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> It's like the, it's like living with somebody that's they they remind you of something for mm-hmm. themselves, not you. Right. Yeah. Like Goodell made that comment to remind himself. The Bills already knew it. Okay, here we go. Um, owners are expected to seek mainly financial gains, most prominently new stadium credits similar to the ones they secured in 2011. The stadium credits are allotments of money that come off the top of the revenue pile before the revenue is split with the players and are used to assist teams in stadium renovations or new construction. The NFL used up all of the stadium credits from the 2011 deal a couple years ago, meaning new projects in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, as well as hope for projects in Buffalo and Cleveland are not reaping the benefits of that system. In order to help with such projects, the ones that are to come, owners are expected to seek stadium credits in a new deal. Period, the end. That's why Buffalo is not building a new stadium. And that's why LA and Vegas were so stupid for moving when they did. They got no money for that. All the money was for the stadium credits and renovations were gone. Poof, gone. Remember when the Bills did all the renovations to Ralph Wilson? When was that? Right around 2012, wasn't it? Gee, I wonder where that money came from. So they're they're gonna wait. They be, they'd be foolish to do anything prior to a new CBA, CBA coming in. So Goodell starting this fire for no reason. You're absolutely right. You're starting to fire for no reason. So Bills fans, don't worry. You're we're not gonna really know what's going on with this stadium business till after this new CBA is coming in. Because otherwise the Bills are leaving millions of dollars on the table because there's no promise that if they start building a new stadium, yeah. that they're gonna be allotted the credit. Yeah. Because there's no if, guarantee of that. Right, no. because if they're looking at if the NFL is asking for money off the top before we get to revenue split with the players, that's a big deal. Yeah. And the NFL is making more and more and more money. So aren't you, aren't you thinking that the Players Association is going to say, listen, you don't need to help with stadiums. You, you're going to generate $15 billion. What do you need help with money for new stadiums? What do you need that for? It is possible the new CBA, no stadium allotments. But that is no different than the situation they're in right now. Right? If they, if they wait it out, what happens? Nothing. No, they're not getting any money for it now, no, anyway. I mean, there's no. If none of this would have 
manifested in itself and said, listen, all right, there's not going to be no new renovations. The, the bills, the stadium's going to be as it is. Mm-hmm. Do fans care? Right. Some, yeah. Some, if you if you dangle the, hey, we're going we're gonna to build a new stadium and make renovations. Oh, cool. What are they? Right. If you never said anything, it doesn't matter. Paul, make sure you wear your Bison's hat today. Like, Goodell's an idiot.